Hi, this is Bill from the Maker's Guide, and today we're here to show you the uh, how to set up the new Maker's Guide Triple Edge Finder. Earlier we uh, connected a uh, wire to one of the pins on our control board, and then we attached a banana plug to the end of that wire. And that banana plug and wire is inserted into the side of the maker's guide. Yeah, there's two dependent so that you can uh, have your choice of where the wire goes so that's out of the way from your, your process. So connect that. We also have a wire with an alligator clip which is connected to the ground wire of the machine which will be attached to the bit to ground the bit. Certain routers won't require this but the Craftsman router does. If you're using a Hitachi you shouldn't need that. Once the uh, wire, ground wire, and the signal wire are attached, you can test by touching the plate to the uh, bit and looking at the uh, screen. The light should go green on there to indicate that you've got a connection. Now in order to use the plate, you need to measure the plate thickness. And you can either use a, a set of calipers if you want to get a close estimate. And you measure this distance here. You see the plate has a bottom surface and a top surface. You want to measure from the top to this bottom indentation. And in this case, that's measuring somewhere around 0.615 inches. So 615 thousandths of an inch if you're a machinist. If you want a more accurate reading, use a micrometer. Okay, in this case, using the micrometer, six one five three is the, the size that we're uh, measuring. So as you can see, this will give you a little more accurate reading. So we enter that value into the uh, program. Now to use it, you would raise the router bit above the workpiece so that it clears and doesn't hit. And you jog the machine. So that's over the touch plate. You can center that or, or um, it really doesn't matter, it's very uh, close measurement. Then check again to make sure that you have a connection. Okay, you take the maker's guide and you put it up against this corner edge and that will be aligned by these two uh, bosses on the bottom. And that should put that the center of that piece right in the edge of uh, the workpiece. But we're going to set the Z height first. Lower the bit closer to the workpiece. And then we press the plate, off, uh, plate offset Z button on the uh, mock probing screen. We'll slowly begin to approach the bit. When it touched, it completed the surface, the, the uh, circuit. When the bit makes contact and retracts to a fixed height above the plate. That's all. It sets the Z height automatically for you. Now in order to test Move the ground wire, move your uh, maker's guide out of the way. Now I'm going to tell the machine to go to the zero position.
and it should just touch the surface of the, the workpiece. Here we go. That's repeatable. Time and time again.